in a very, very special way, I want to thank the members of parliament. You're very grateful. You're very, very, very gracious people. Traveling from Kampala to Gulu, it means a lot. It means you're really leaders who love your country. You love Uganda, not Gulu. You love Uganda. All the way from the west, all the way from the east, all the way from central, and you're sitting in Gulu. Thank you so much for coming. Honorable members, the decision to hold parliamentary sitting in Uganda's traditional four regions is a strategy to bridge the gap between parliament and the people. It was a product of an elaborate cost-benefit analysis and attention to specific and varying nature of distinct realities affecting different regions of Uganda. We've always sat in parliament, made decisions for the country, forgetting that the regions differ from one region to the other. They have distinct issues that need to be handled region per region. Honorable members, contrary to the misinformation by some members and a section of the public, the regional sitting of parliament are budget neutral. We are not incurring additional costs. The strategic decision was taken to upgrade the always budgeted for parliamentary outreaches into a fully fledged house sitting which will deliberate upon matters that are distinct and pertinent to specific regions hosting the sittings. Unlike outreaches, the deliberation during this sitting will culminate in two parliamentary resolutions and will require government action. We have money that is always available for outreaches. And in these outreaches, we could only go and invite the leaders of the area and we discuss with the leaders of the areas. But this case we said, instead of calling only the leadership of the area, let's go and have a sitting in that specific region, get issues that are affecting the region, have resolutions, and forward it to executive for action to be taken in a particular area. When you look at the budget of parliament, no money was added for this sitting. So the misinformation, the people who are moving with the misinformation just don't like the northern region. Parliament is not a stationary building. The building in Kampala is not parliament. It is an arm of government that can convene in any part of the country. And this is not unique with the legislature. It is also being done with the judiciary. 